Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to The Infected. Uh, it's our first travel day. Uh, today we're going to go out to the uh, cave that is uh, that has aluminum. And uh, we're going to set up a um, extractor out there on the aluminum. And we're going to build a uh, uh, saw bench. And we're going to build a little teeny tiny house. And uh, hopefully by that time, we will have three aluminums in our extractor. <laughs> we'll see about that part. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, probably going to run out of stamina before I get even close to the road this way. Keep an eye on that. Uh, the aluminum is out on the dry uh, sort of desert biome. Hopefully we'll see stuff out there uh, that we like. I do need to go a little bit better this way. Uh, hopefully we'll also come across clay uh, so that we can... There's probably clay in here still. I did get four of the clay from this little field. Uh, but we might pick up some more clay. Uh, did I bring that crate? I did, darn it. We might end up having to leave the crate behind. Uh, just uh, turned around. Thank you very much, uh, Log Cart. I appreciate your effort in uh, turning my world around. You did good. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It's, uh, it's quite a long trip out there, but it is worth checking out uh, the travel in between. It's an all new map. I think I stopped dragging you guys um, across the map um, and with season three for the most part. We might have done it once or twice in season four, but we never finished season four. We are gonna have to get back to that uh, once we get through some of this. Oh boy. That is a, um, come on. There we go. Oh my goodness. He didn't do too much damage. Now I can't do anything with him. He's just gonna sit there and rot because I brought the stone crate and I shouldn't have. And, uh, yeah, that's just a simple fact. So as soon as we entered the biome, we had whoops. And uh, that's too bad about that. Um, you know, as soon as we can, we'll get another log cart and get things set up better for that. And food tables, you know, 10 ingots every time. And uh, you can uh, break down the food table, of course, and bring back half the ingots with you, but if they're gonna be set up somewhere where you're gonna be going back to, like the aluminum field, for instance, which we are almost at, it's on the other side of the road, um, then you may as well leave it all set up and ready to go. I might have enough planks on me uh, to where I can just set up a porch kind of thing. But I didn't bring any ropes, so no spike traps. I forgot about the rope. It depends on how much time we have. Um, I also don't have enough nails. I only have four extra. I think it's four extra. Oops, wrong button. It is right there. Okay, we'll leave the corn there for right now. Hope it's right here. Seems like it ought to be right here. There's, oh wait, that's, that's the road. I don't, don't want to cross it twice, do I? Yeah, it's on the other side of that road. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Didn't take a very straight route. It is just going to be like dark because of the weather. <sighs> All right, 
Uh, here's something that I learned by accident. Um, shadow quality. I have the shadow quality off. And uh, so what I learned by accident is that if the shadows are not on, you should be able to see fairly well in here. Of course, it's like terrible weather, so uh, maybe it's not working so well. All right. Yeah, it's the weather. Usually it's lit up in, in here during the day. All right, let us grab uh, an extractor. And we'll get that going. I don't know why I left the card outside. That was just silly. Uh, we'll get this going. And uh, we only need eight of those. And that. And all of those. <laughs> I can't carry all those. <laughs> there we go. And two more. And, uh, oh, what I do with it? There it is. And we'll put four fuel in there and turn it on and make sure the timer is running. And now we are going to go outside and go build 9.30 a.m. in the pouring rain in the dark. Uh, you can build inside the cave uh, if you want to. It's an idea. Uh, we can put something uh, right outside the cave. Like a little passage, maybe. I don't want it to be sunk in. All right, let's see here. Let's grab a big tree. So we can build a lodge out here, uh, or we can just build a little porch or whatever. I think we should probably build something a little bit more substantial, uh, just because um, we'll be coming out here in the winter time, and also because we need something to do while this is uh, while this is going. So drop that. And we will grab a saw bench. There we go. And we'll also go and uh, look around for some food. There is uh, chickens here. And uh, wolves, I think wolves means sheep. But again, we don't have the table. Uh, so we cannot do that. Did I get all those in there? Yep. Go grab some more. That was a funny looking plant right there. I could only see it like the backdrop of it. I think if I didn't have the shadows on, it would be like way, way darker here. Uh, uh, startles me just a little bit how much more how many more hits it takes to take down a large tree <laughs> we're just piling up wood other one give me the other weapon alright here we go Let's try not to get hurt too much. Oh, nice. Give me that. Uh, I think it's the other box, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, for this part, I think uh, we can put a porch there. I haven't tried uh, because uh, the on the other save, I built my house uh, up there on the road.
and we'll put a uh, fire here. Oops, food. Just kind of put it out of the way there. Uh, did I know? Yep, there it is. I do have some planks in there. <laughs> I practically ran into that tree. <laughs> God, I wish the storm would stop and the sun would come out because this is ridiculous now. It's May, for goodness sake. Like, <laughs> seriously, it's time, man. It's time for the storms to stop. All right, and four more of those. There we go. And we'll pick up these sticks, of course. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. Oops, that's not where I put the rest of that. I should put it there so I can find it. Uh, there we go, and another rock. Oh, there's a ton of stuff out here. There's not, however, a ton of shade out here. So since the storm is gonna give me my wish and clear up, <laughs> we need to keep an eye on our uh, our sun resistance there. Hopefully that won't fall through anywhere. All right, let's see here. I put this log bench right in the way, didn't I? Yes, I did, indeed. All right. Uh, nope, not that one. Gotta get, nope, that'll fit. <laughs> All right, let's move this thing out of the way. My my ideas are evolving and changing. Uh, here we go. Oh, it doesn't want to go there anyway. Uh, what could possibly be the problem here? Oh, it does not like this section of ground at all. It can go there. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll do it that way. What do we need here? Uh, eight rocks. Happens to be a few. I might even have that many in the uh, stone crate already. Oh dear. <laughs> That's way more than eight rocks. <laughs> Hopping might help. There we go. All right, where did I put them? That fit? No, no, I've got a rock crate. Drop those in there, grab that. All right, uh, get these two as well. Now then, let's see where in the world is the water. I don't think it's too far. Let's see here. It is right over there. That is a long way to go for the water, just to get water, but we have some. Oops. Come on now. Yeah, that cleaned us out completely. So we will go and get some more. Here we go. I can't imagine what this is gonna look like uh, with snow all over it. Here's some food. There's probably a good amount of watermelon out here as well. All right, let's dump that in there and we'll light it up and we'll cook some water and go see about finding uh, a light um, summer salad, I think. 
<laughs> now, how far away is everything? So the town is down at the end of that road. And that is a lot of Vambies. There's another little pond out here, closer to the ocean. And that is not where that road is going, though. Uh, it's around there. Hopefully I can find some big fruits. There is a raccoon. We can't take that either. The only thing we can pick up is chickens out here without that. Uh... There's another raccoon. Look at that. <laughs> So without that uh, uh, table, the only thing out here that we can pick up is the chickens. There's no fish out here. I don't need any meat anyway. I've got a ton of it. Let's grab a little bit of that. And look around a little bit better. I want to see the ocean. <laughs> I just passed a watermelon. What a crazy person. That just helps so much. It's absolutely insane. Uh, let's see. I'm doing pretty good here. We're about to enter another biome. And uh, into this sort of brown area over here. So I'd have to look uh, at the actual wiki. And uh, I am hoping that at least one of these videos, I've managed to link the wiki. <laughs> There's a pumpkin. That's good. I'll take that. So I'm guessing this is the brown area. <laughs> I don't the whole area is supposed to be the brown area. Oh, there it is. Our sun resistance is almost gone. We need to get out of this. And uh, I completely forgot. I need to turn on the shadow quality so I can see where the shade is. There we go. Our sun resistance should come right back up. There's the ocean right there, and some forest. Wow. Oh, I heard a pig go. <laughs> I do miss the pigos. We might have to move to where there are pigs. Not just for the bacon. <laughs> Although, one could argue that the bacon is super important. <laughs> But not just for the bacon. Oh, there's a pigo. Hi, pigo. How are you doing? You having a good day? I heard a chicken. Where was the chicken? All right, you're going to go the other way. He's right over there. I think that's a chicken right there. Oh, I missed. It was a chicken. <laughs> uh, wow. That's some disappearing act. <laughs> there he is. There we go. Oh! <laughs> you sneaky doodle. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. <laughs> I am terrible with spears. <laughs> All right, let's go dip our toes in the ocean. And we can uh, take home our spoils. There's another pumpkin right there. Right there. <laughs> Very nice. It's 
a very shallow ocean. <laughs> There's a part of this map. Someone said you can swim across here. We're over here, though. But someone said you could swim across these bays. Even this big, huge bay, that would be amazing. That would be a long swim, though. All right, let's see what I've got. Uh, yep, we'll do that. And do that. We'll eat another one of those for our health because it's down. Oh, looks like we're going to have to overeat a little. That's okay. All right, now we need to go back towards our little red dot. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go 13. We're in trouble. We need to get out of the sun. Let's go over here and get out of the sun. Oh, there's a watermelon right there, too which I cannot pick up at all. All right, our health is back to 100. Let me do a little bit of rearranging here. I don't think it's gonna help with the watermelon though. We can try. <laughs> awesome. We're not thirsty at all. Uh, we just need enough uh, sun resistance to get back to the cave. Here we go. So I don't want to get a sunburn and then have to start dealing with that. It's not terrible, but, you know, it will be an agitation. I don't really, here's some clay right here. I don't really even notice uh, when I was poisoned, uh, I was poisoned for probably 20 minutes um, trying to figure out... Uh, how to take care of that before I gave up and went and asked uh, Kara or Kara. It could be Kara. I didn't ask her how to pronounce her name. Uh, Kara Bray is um, one of the people on the wiki, her and Tubsy and uh, a couple of others. Uh, I believe Sana is uh, also on the wiki. I just said her name wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, it's so funny because I went to a lot of trouble to learn how to say it correctly. <laughs> All righty. Let's take a look. I'm terrible with this. I need to be like dead on. I'm also concerned about wolves and not having the uh, stamina to fight one. So we'll walk a little ways. I don't have the ability to make um, a potato paste, which is what you need for sunburn. Uh, or if you have, um, yes, I know. Uh, or if you just want to raise your resistance, um, you make a potato paste. Uh, but you need to make the bowl uh, and then mix the bowl with the potato. And um, I don't have that stuff with me. And the bowl is made out of clay, so. All right, we're almost there. It's right across the street. All right, let's go. <laughs> Did I get the water? I think I got the water. It's amazing that I haven't drank it this whole time. Or did I? Uh, no. No, it's in the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caught myself there. I wasn't sure. All right, let's go ahead and cook up this chicken. And go see if we are lucky enough to have three aluminum. We have zero aluminum. Uh, I don't want to spend the night here, so I think that, uh, because it's a waste of time, so I think I will come back. Oh, bummer. The chicken did not cook. Um, can't put that in there. Let's try.
try some sticks. There we go. Hopefully that's long enough. I want to go home now. Uh, we'll head back home and um, we'll get set up to start uh, going to villages and uh, getting ourselves all set up for that. I really want to get this uh, larger uh, flask first. And uh, that was totally unnecessary. I was gorging myself because I brought all this huge amount of food. And I don't really want to make a bed. Although you can just make a bed right there. But getting our sun resistance back up. And we'll put that out in case we need that fire for an emergency. And we'll check this timer. It's on two seconds and we got stones. It's definitely not on stone. Okay. Ah, irritation. Alrighty. We are going to go right straight back. And uh, I will have to run out here. That's a very pretty flower. I will have to run out here to check the aluminum uh, before we go on to um, town hunting. Uh, but we have two more extractors to make minimum. And probably more than that. Uh, one for copper and uh, one for uh, cobalt. The copper is right here next to us. The cobalt is right there. And that's the same for all of these. Um, or excuse me, I think that's copper. That's cobalt. I have to check now. Uh, but it's the same uh, for everyone is what I'm trying to say. I think I said that wrong. I think the cobalt is on the brown areas. <laughs> and, the co <laughs> and the copper is on the green areas. Calling it brown areas is what's making me giggle because I'm a child. <laughs> and surrounded by children most of the time. Jaunt. Matthew. <laughs> oh dear. No energies. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to use uh, any bandages. So that's a waste of resources. And, you know, it's a limited resource, limited by uh, the fact that you have to. Uh, anything that will give you fat, you've got to cut up on a butchering table. And so it's easier to just go to town and uh, look for bandages in town. And uh, we might go to our local town just to see what's there. Maybe we'll get lucky, you know. Maybe the truck will be there. Maybe the loom will be there. You need a loom in order to make your backpack larger. And that's totally the wrong way. Good grief. Here we go. Um, and uh, so that might be there. If we can get the loom, we can go crocodile hunting and get some crocodile skin to make our backpack bigger. And I mean, that'll be a step forward, right? I live in a place that looks like this. So <laughs> if I'm like racing through here too much, just let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more of this, we can spend more time uh, out, you know, traveling about and uh, picking up cool stuff. Alrighty. I have to go around this. I uh, told you guys, I think a couple of days ago, that I broke my leg on my main save uh, going down one of these hills. And uh, <laughs> I think it's this one right here. Did not think I would break my leg on that. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but turns out, oops, I went too far. 
Uh, it turns out that you can break your leg on that hill. <laughs> home sweet home. Come in here. Oopsie. All right. Uh, am I stuck? Good grief. I'm trying to shut the door. Let's check that first. Oh, good. Three irons. That's nice. It's still plenty of fuel. All right. Let's see. I still have uh, enough stuff. I am like so. It sucks that I didn't get any aluminum in that first few minutes of run, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get it uh, maybe next time or the time after that. And uh, that'll be fun. Tonight I am going to uh, gather up some stone for these forges, as it may. Gather up some stone for these forges and get them cooking uh, because we do need uh, all of these uh, things and uh, some of this stuff uh, to, to move forward. We'll get rid of that too. Uh, that other bear is right there, what's left of him. And grab those. Lots of leftover planks. That's always good. And all of those. <laughs> oh my god. Here's another one. And two more. And the uh, nails and two stones. Pretty sure there's more than two. Uh, yep, there sure is. All right, I'm going to fill that up with stone and uh, fill one of these crates uh, full of as much iron as I can. And uh, then we will carry on from there. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye for now.